In this video, we're going to be talking about the algebra topics of slope. We're going to look at the equation of a line, and then we're also going to look at how to graph lines. So when we're talking about slope, we're looking at a line on the coordinate plane, and it's defined as the change in y over the change in x. You may have heard that. You're usually given some points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, and we want to find the slope of the line that connects those two points. You may have also heard slope being referred to as rise over the run. And slope is usually represented by the variable m, and we'll talk about that when we look at the equation of the line using the slope-intercept form. So if you're given these two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, this is our slope formula where we can plug in those values, we find the difference in the y values, and we divide that by the difference in the x values, and that's what gives us the slope. Now graphically, we'll look at a slope and we can see if the slope is positive, and that's like this example here, our line in blue, from left to right, the slope is increasing, so that's a positive slope. We're increasing from left to right, giving us the positive slope. Versus this line in this graph, from left to right, the slope of the line is negative. It is decreasing. So this is how we can look at a graphical representation and determine if the slope is positive or negative. We also have two other cases. The slope of a line can be zero, and that's when you have a horizontal slope. Our blue line right here is horizontal. There is no change in the y value and the x values are what change. So that's a zero slope versus this type of line, a vertical line in blue, that is an undefined slope. So if you can keep track with your positive slope, negative slope, a zero slope, and undefined slope. Those are your four cases for slope. Now let's look at an equation of a line. So oftentimes you'll see questions on the ACT that ask us or make use of the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line, and that is y equals mx plus b. In this equation, we have the variables x and y. That's usually what we plot on our coordinate plane. We're talking about x and y. And again here, m is going to represent the slope of the line. That is on the x term. b is what we refer to as our y-intercept. And that is where the line crosses the y-axis when x is equal to 0. So the y-intercept is a point also, but in the equation, we represent that, that's the y value of our y-intercept when x is equal to zero. So here's an example. You may be asked to write the equation of the line with slope two-thirds that crosses the y-axis at five. So we can set up in slope-intercept form that y equals to two-thirds x, two-thirds is our slope, m, plus five, that is b. Five is b, where it crosses the y-axis. And that's our equation right there. So we can take a look at a couple of properties of different types of lines. If you'll remember that parallel lines never cross, they also have the same slope. So when we're looking at the equations of the lines here in this coordinate plane, the light blue line is represented by 2x plus 1, and the yellow line is 2x minus 3. And we can see that both of these lines have a slope of 2. That's what's highlighted there in red in our equations. We could plot each one of those. And we know that in the blue one, our y-intercept is 1. So if you'll notice from the graph, that's where the blue line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 1. The yellow line should cross at negative 3 because our value for b is negative 3. So we see that in our graph that the yellow line crosses at the point 0, negative 3. So parallel lines have the same slope. But what about our other type of lines, perpendicular lines? If you'll remember, perpendicular lines cross and they form a right angle. Here we have our pinkish red line, which is represented by 2x plus 1. And I know that because I can look at where it crosses the y-axis at 1, the point 0, 1. Our blue line is represented by negative 1 half x minus 3. So the relationship between the slopes of perpendicular lines is that they are negative reciprocals of one another. 
So you can be given the equation of one of the lines and to find the slope of the line perpendicular to that, you would just find the negative reciprocal. So we go from two in the line in the lighter red to the negative one half for the slope of the line in blue. Now we've already talked a little bit about graphs of lines, but we have some questions that are strictly just you looking at the graph and maybe determining the equation of the line or picking out which graph rep is represented by an equation of a line. So there's a couple of ways you can graph a line if you have to. You can always set up an XY chart and plug in values for X and find what Y would be and then plot those points. That's perfectly fine to do. Or you can also use this slope intercept form, get the equation in that form and then use your M and Y intercept the B and be able to plot from that or to verify that what, whatever plot you're looking at represents the line. For timing purposes on the ACT, which is what we're concerned with, it may be quicker to use slope intercept form. So if you can get some practice with that, that's probably going to be the quicker route to go, but plotting points always works as well. Let's take a look at this example. You may be asked, you wouldn't particularly have to graph a line, but you may have to choose which graph represents this equation of the line, but we'll start off by graphing it, practice it. So if you had to graph this line, see what you would do and come back and we'll work it together. So the first thing I would do is I want to get this equation in slope intercept form. So I'm going to try to get y on the left hand side and get everything else on the right hand side. So now I'm in the form y equals negative 2x plus 3. And we can read from this that we have a slope of negative 2, that's what's in front of the x term, and our y, our b value is 3. And that gives us the point 0, 3. So we have some things we can work with now. So if we were to have a graph, we would have this line here. We could plot the point 0, 3, and we go down 2 over 1. You can think of your rise over run. Since it's negative, we go down 2 over 1, and you could plot a second point, and then connect your points, and that gives you your line. So you can always do that if you're checking to make sure that, what, if, for example, if the answer choices are different plots, and you're given the graph, you can do this exercise right here and make sure that the equation repre is represented in the graph that you're choosing. So let's take a look at this ACT type example, pause the video, work this question, and we'll come back and work it together. The question asks, what is the slope of the line that goes through the points negative 3, 2 and negative 1, 4? So here we're given two points and we want to find the slope. We're going to make use of our equation y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We're just plugging in those values from our point and when we simplify we get answer choice D1. Our slope is 1 for these two points.